for KLA, I feel that um, we have a special situation that uh, we have a, a novel a cancer-specific new epitope that we can target, um, which we should harness. Um, there's still the check inhibitors out that will be also the, the, the key um, therapeutics in the next years. But um, uh, we should go beyond check inhibition, especially in, in those KLR patients where we have the chance and uh, monoclonal antibodies is uh, clearly a good strategy. Uh, we see monoclonal antibodies in solid tumors used a lot. They, they, they work really good. Uh, and I believe that um, uh, w- this will happen the same in KLA. And, and we were lucky to um, um, team up and contribute uh, in the, to, with the lab of Daniel Thomas in Adelaide to the develop a, a, a first uh, monoclonal antibody targeting KLR where we could see very efficient uh, killing and clearing of uh, mutant cells uh, in vitro, but also in, in the mouse model. Um, and I think I'm pretty sure that doing, within the next years, we will see a clinical trials starting and hopefully also get this uh, through into the clinic soon. Um, also, the, there's reports already out that um, T cells targeting KLR uh, will be working good. And uh, so that there's plenty of options with immune therapeutics. So we, we, we could also get most likely um, CAR T cells targeting uh, the mutant caroticulin. Um, the nice thing is actually also that, that the KLR is, is on, the, on the cell surface since it binds to the trouble point receptor. So uh, we could potentially very specifically target these cells and probably get rid even of the stem cell pool and, and yeah, get also with this immune therapeutics, uh, durable long-term um, responses. So I think we are facing exciting years in, in this field.